Hi guys, it's Olga Heldwein and welcome in my Halloween tutorial just after Halloween. Yay! Okay, so I messed the days of my inspiration. So it will, uh, it is live now after Halloween and it's still a Halloween themed project. Uh, but I still wanted to share it and I think that I should make a series of the projects that didn't went as planned. Uh, I love all the elements of the project. I love waxing. I love all the products that I use, but I messed up <laughs> on my way to the final result. I'm happy with the final result, so I will still post it to encourage you to try to pull off even the projects that you are not happy with. And even if something goes wrong, you can still try to fix it. So the main element are those amazing gates. They are MDFPs from Snipart and all the embellishments, all the cheap pots, the pumpkins, the bats and the spiders and the cobwebs, they are all from Snipart. And those are all elements from Halloween collection, but uh, you know, I love spooky and I love creepy. And for me, it's like whole year theme to use skulls and create a little bit more creepy projects. And this year I would like to do it whole year long. Uh, so I decorated all those elements with different mediums. Uh, right now I'm again on the road of looking for the new project, new products that will work for me. I'm really curious cat if it comes to the products and I love this discovery. It's a pebble black gesso and if you have to paint something that it's glass or wood or you want just the perfect coverage with one pass with the product that will not get goopy and it's perfectly matte after it will dry just buy the pebble black gesso i will buy the white one as well to check if the white one has similar coverage um with those gates they come as two solid pieces and i just split the front part in half because i wanted to make it a door uh, and i covered them uh, with uh, black gesso first i went over with sneep art stencil and it's my favorite stencil with those uh, card motifs. Oh, I just love it. So I went over it with uh, texture paste and I got this nice texture that I covered on black because I want to do some waxing. I put my hands on some amazing waxes and I wanted to have fun. For pumpkins, I use Distress Oxide and Distress Regular Ink in Spice Marmalade and I added some details with uh, green alcohol uh, marker and it's not expensive alcohol marker it's uh, alcohol marker on the budget but it still works for the projects like that and it will work also for the foiling accent i wanted to put some lights behind those pumpkins but i thought that it will be too much if the project will will have those doors and um, uh, the battery pack in the back so instead, instead of putting light uh, behind it, I decided to fake it and it worked so nicely. So if you want to have the glow effect in your project, just use metallic cardstock. I painted mine with also cheap metallic, uh, not cheap metallic, cheap alcohol marker in yellow color and it's Tim Holtz mirror cardstock but you can use any kind of mirror cardstock for that project and I just stuck pieces behind my cheap board so it looks like they glowing within and I went to waxing. For the longest time ever I was mixing my own waxes with Minka powders and clear wax uh, but I wanted to try the Prima waxes and I got them for my birthday from Marta. Thank you Marta! I know that you are watching tutorial and thank you very much for this gift. It was really thoughtful and perfectly you guessed my favorite colors. So I get a nice range of uh, really usable colors. I picked green and uh, purple because uh, first of all those are my favorite waxing colors. Yes we don't like green but we like it in this shade, in this patina shade, in the wax form. I really like it. I love purple in general uh, and except of that I have silver and gold, you know the regular metal like colors because I love to use waxes for uh, metal like effect as well. Um, 
it was the first time since a really long time when I was using waxes not to achieve the metal look, just to achieve metallic look. And I'm so happy with this project. Uh, you know, the final outcome is really nice. And I'm really proud of myself that I pushed it because normally I would just scratch the project. I would put everything in the bin and I would start all over again if the things not work for me. But here I don't have more of those pumpkins and I really want to have a nice project because uh, it went to Sneepart and they always, uh, when they exhibit during the craft fairs, they use our project and they display them so nicely. And it's such a nice display piece. Uh, you know, the final outcome is really nice and the final effect is really nice. And I really like this project i really like the idea that i had and i really wanted to push it through so i built my composition from those pumpkins and lanterns and cobwebs and spiders and then i went to decorate the doors and here we have my first flop i picked the silver color and it didn't just look nice uh, the color itself it's really nice and i will have a, a really a ton of use from that but it didn't match the inside so um, don't mind whatever i'm doing right now uh, i will switch it for for the purple when i will be repainting the background i just deepen the shadows with black uh, oxide and i have just the small one and refill it every time when it goes dry and it works so nice with those prima waxes team holds ink it will just allow you to have a soft transition if you want uh, go back to the black surface unfortunately you have to reach for the black product again for the black acrylic product and with those waxes, I also like that uh, when they dry, you can still use acrylic on top and it will not peel off. So that's two pros for those Prima waxes and Nouveau wax, uh, Nouveau mousse will work the same. When it's dry, you can layer the acrylic on top and it will not peel off. Maybe if you will wet the project, I didn't check this part yet. So I put the door things, the, the metal thingies, I have no idea how to call them in English, and I conceal them with black uh, uh, pebeo thing. And then I start to assemble my sentiment and the bats. And everything looked perfect uh, until it was black. And you can see that I fixed the doors. Uh, I used just a little tiny itsy bitsy of this purple Prima Wax. Uh, two more mix match at the front and uh, and the inside and it worked beautifully and here we have my major flop I use uh, the wax from um, uh, daily art and it's dual chrome wax so it have amazing green sheen but this green shade didn't go well with the rest uh, of my composition so i just rearranged the elements i cover it with the purple wax and then i added the silver highlight so it's big comeback of the silver wax uh, and of course i put a little bit of black distress ink uh, on the spiders just to highlight them a little bit more and that's the final outcome and i'm so in love with this project it looks so nice on display when it's open it looks cool when it's closed as well and i hope that you like this tutorial i know that it's all over the place uh, but it's important for me to share not only the projects that went exactly like i thought but also the ones that didn't went as i thought that they will because that will encourage especially people who just starting to keep on pushing to keep on trying because that's how we discover a new techniques by trying to fix our mistakes okay thank you everyone for your attention i hope that you like this tutorial have a nice and creative day and see you soon on the next one bye